Hi guys, my name is Christina and thank you for joining me live in here. In a couple hours, we're going to shoot Nicole, a boudoir photo shoot in Rome. And for now, I'm going to show you the location where we're gonna photograph her. And I'm gonna share with you the gear that I'm shooting with, my camera gear, my lighting, the little tricks that I use uh, on the go because I'm traveling outside uh, of the United States. So obviously I'm limited on the gear that I can take with me. However, I'm gonna share with you everything that I'm using and hopefully that'll be useful for you in your journey. Usually for those photo shoots, I shoot for the group that I teach. I uh, teach boudoir photography. So I have a platform for boudoir photography education from A to Z, everything, the art and business of boudoir photography. However, today this photo shoot is for everybody and not only for my group. I am sharing all my tricks. So feel free to ask me a question in live or leave me a comment if you're watching this in replay. Ask me what you want to know. What did you miss from the photo shoot? What do you want to know? I'm going to leave some links in the description. And if you have any question, please do not hesitate to let me know. So with, um, without uh, going more into fluff, I'm going to share with you the camera I'm shooting with and the couple lenses that I'm using. I'm using a Z9 camera, Nikon Z9. It's a mirrorless camera that I love shooting with. Uh, before that, I was using the, Zena, uh, the Z7. Uh, it was fantastic. However, this one takes a couple card slots and it's kind of like safer when you're shooting um, on the go or when you don't have a backup camera. Um, especially if you're a wedding photographer or you're shooting events, it's just always good to have when uh, to have backup when you cannot redo the photo shoot. And for my lenses, I'm actually using the first lens that I'm going to start with today is my 50. 1.8 and I usually shoot at 2.8 or I at 1.8. Um, why do I love shooting with the, the 50? Usually I shoot with the 85. However, recently I've been wanting to show more of the locations that I shoot in because I usually crop in cameras. I get really close and shoot, but I like the 50 because it forces me to get more of the perspective and the location that I'm shooting in. Um, for white balance, I have been using the Expo Disc. If you know what this is, great. If you don't know, check it out. The link is in the description. This corrects white balance, especially in the location I'm shooting in. I'm going to show you around. Um, haven't got the bed done yet, but this is the bed we're shooting on, and this is the location. It's like white and cream color. This room is gorgeous, and we have a chaise longue in here that I'm definitely going to use. Um, it's about eight in the morning and we're gonna shoot in a couple hours. So come back in a couple hours to see what we're doing. But for now, this is for white balance. So white balance is when you correct the color of the light. Uh, for example, I want about 3000 Kelvin. That's my favorite color for headshots. I correct um, plus or minus for the warm or the if it's a little bit too orange i correct that of course however i mainly go with my what my expo disc give me and the reason i'm using it is because i'm using studio lights of course however there are many lights in the room and sometimes they vary they're not the same and i want the consistent light on the face so i put it on top of my lens and there's a setting where it tells you go measure and you measure and it tells you okay and you listen to your camera um other than that so camera lens white balance and lights so i'm using very portable lights are very cheap i got them on amazon just recently i usually shoot with strobes however these are not strobes those are continuous led lights and they're amazing if you want to change the background color if you want to add a little bit sass here and there you'll see what i'm gonna do with them in a couple hours uh, but for now let me show it to you there you go so these are uh, i have honey um, honeycomb grids on them and uh, they're the uh, d1500s uh the link is in description um i love these because they're they're very particular um they're, they're very strong in particular and it goes straight to where i want it to go and it doesn't spill too much it still spills a little bit it's not as good as my photos but these are fantastic on the go and when i'm traveling uh, I'm going to be using some of the natural light um, in the room, some of it, because uh, we're not going to have a lot today. It's a little bit uh, overcast here in Rome. And for the outfits, I want to share with you the outfits today. 
So we have, okay, this is going to be so much fun. So for the live shoot, you're going to see some of the photo shoot. However, uh, not a lot because we're shooting a lot of like, no top. Um, I don't want to say that word. I want to, I don't want to end from here. So anyways, this is the skirt. And this is one of the tops. As you can see, it's not gonna cover much for her. That's why we're not sharing all of the photo shoot light. lights. However, you're gonna see it in the private group if you are uh, part of my group. And uh, the other outfit is, <laughs> this is so much fun. Okay, so look at this. Seriously, guys. Um, This goes on the shoulders and that's it. Figure out the rest. Um, and uh, for, this is actually another top. This goes on the head, uh, another bottom, sorry for that top. It goes on the hips. I can't wait to share the photos with you because it's gonna be such a great show, photo shoot. Um, and this is uh, an addition to the first set, the feathers, the first feathers. Uh, other than the top, so we have the kind of skirt bottom and we have this gorgeous piece. I collected these a few years ago and I never shot with them. And today we're going to use them. She's bringing the outfits that uh, we're shooting to show you because I didn't bring anything that covers for the live photo shoot because, you know, restrictions and modesty. Anyways, guys, um, this is what I have to share with you today. We're shooting in Rome and we're shooting in this hotel. It's beautiful. I always stay here. I always shoot in here and I always ask for a different room. Uh, they always have like the last uh, photo shoot was green. The other, uh, the one before was uh, blue. Uh, the furniture today, the room is very creamy. Like, look at this bed. I can't wait to shoot with this bed. You guys, it's going to be fabulous. Yesterday, they brought me some champagne and they brought me this is where i'm working live flowers champagne and i love this i don't know what you call this but i really haven't seen it anywhere other than this hotel gives you the espresso machine gives you like the bathroom is perfect oh we're gonna have that bathroom set because the bathroom is gold and uh, marble so it's beautiful i can't wait to shoot in there also the bathroom has these hand painted uh, walls that you're gonna see in the photos as well um this is my ipad i'm shooting on my ipad oh by the way if you're asking what i'm shooting on this is my ipad and i'm using the movo and the portable microphone if you want to check it out uh, it's in the list below and uh, if you have any questions let me know please uh, comment and um if you want to see the photos let me know also and i'll let you know where we are posting them in a couple weeks so for now, I'll see you in a couple hours when Nicole is here and um, thank you.